I'm Gail Payne. I am the Public Outreach and Fundraising Manager for the Indianapolis Cultural Trail. Well, I worked very closely with Kevin McKinney, editor and publisher of Nubo, and with the Cultural Trail, we've for two years, the um, Indianapolis Cultural Trail um, has been able to um, partner with Nubo on its cycling team, cycling yeah. racing team, and so we've always wanted to do a bike race downtown, and finally said, you know, if we're going to do it, we need to try to get it in this season, and we'll see how it goes. And so it's been wonderful to work with Nubo. They've been a great partner. And the Indianapolis Foundation, a CICF affiliate, really has provided the funding to allow the Cultural Trail to be the, the title sponsor of it. Um, the Cultural Trail is an eight-mile trail that's connecting the cultural districts in the downtown area. And going right through where the race path was today um, in our next leg of construction this fall. So it's just been a great partnership because the Cultural Trail is trying to inspire more people to get out of their cars, on bikes, and promote a healthier community and connectivity with great, you know, the Mass Avenue and Fountain Square and the other cultural districts in the Indianapolis area. So. Uh, what, what kind of what kind of things have you guys been doing to like get that out there to just let people know about that? Because like I said, I, I haven't known much about it, and I came here and I was like, oh, this is this is something big that a lot of people follow. Yeah, well, we have. Um, a few different things. We have brown bag lunches the fourth Tuesday of every month at noon, and they kind of rotate around the different cultural districts. And then, and that's just to update people on what's happening with the cultural trail. Um, whether it's you have specific questions about construction in front of your business or your residence, or if it's um, just generally trying to find out what the heck is this um, Indianapolis Cultural Trail. It's again the fourth Tuesday of every month and we just try to invite the public to come out and learn more about it. We also do bike tours. Um, first Saturday from April through October. They start at 10 a.m. from the corner of uh, North and Alabama Street and I typically lead those and we take about 20 people on the route of the entire Cultural Trail. It's again about eight miles. And it takes a couple hours, but it's a great way to understand exactly where the route of the cultural trail will be and how exactly it will connect all these great places downtown. What, what kind of things does it take to, uh, to like put something downtown here? Because I know this is the first one, so what kind of things does it take to put something together like this? It has taken an enormous amount of, of collaboration with city government and with not-for-profits, the Central Indiana Community Foundation and the City of Indianapolis are co-partners in making the Cultural Trail happen. Um, the Cultural Trail is possible because of generous charitable contributions from people like Gina Marilyn Glick who have given 15 million dollars to this project of the budget that's, that's 50 million dollars. We've raised about 41 million so far but it is taking all the merchants for instance in the Mass Ave and, uh, and other areas downtown um, to you know understand how it can bring people to their doorsteps and hopefully bring more revenue to their businesses. It's taking generous donors like Gina Marilyn Glick and so many others to just give generously to make the project possible and the city of Indianapolis it's giving us the right of way to actually put down the trail and not just any trail this is going to be a beautifully designed uniquely paved landscaped lit 24 7 and with two million dollars of new permanent public art it will truly become a destination for Indianapolis. It seems like you guys like to focus uh, a lot on family mm -hmm. having like the kids raise the kids stuff. Right. Uh, is there any, any other things that you do family wise that, other than you know, the, the tours and the we have partnered a lot with the Center for Inquiry, which is an Indianapolis public school located on the corner of um, New Jersey and Walnut Streets, which is on the path of the Cultural Trail. It's a K through 8 school, and they have really embraced this idea of having this unique bike and pedestrian path right in front of their school. And they've done everything from commission their own piece of public art to be on the trail and gotten the kids involved in that process. And they've also just received another grant outside of the Cultural Trail, completely on their own, to start their own bike program to teach kids, from, again, K through 8, about cycling, about bike safety, and hopefully with the idea that kids will not only want to bike more, but they'll actually give tours of the Cultural Trail to other students or, or other in, interested individuals downtown. So it's been a great way to in, encourage and engage more families in the downtown. Uh, is there anywhere that they can go to maybe learn more about any of these things, including the, the trail and what's the upcoming thing? Sure. Our website is IndieCulturalTrail.org or just calling the office at 317-713-3333.
Um, but again, the website's really got the latest and greatest information in terms of as we constantly are updating it based on our construction schedule and the map slightly changes here and there every once in a while or just scheduling to find out where's our next brown bag lunch or bike tour you can go to our website. For more information about the Indianapolis Culture Trail please visit indieculturaltrail.org.